Welcome to another RSR. Tonight I'm reviewing Portland Timbers FC1 Sporting Kansas City nil on a Monday night football special on MLS opening weekend. The final game of the week. The first match week and it wasn't really a barn burner. It was just there. It wasn't as good as I expected it to be, but Portland fought, fought for a win. They found their way to win. Kansas City looked better than I expected. They were on the doorstep a good couple of times, but in the end, it didn't fall their way. Portland couldn't get a second, but Portland found a way to get the three points. They grinded it out. With that being said, in the sixth minute, Juan Mascara scores the only goal, has the ball, plays it through, makes the run in, and spins. Spins the defense, skins them alive, Nutmegs, Nutmegs pull scamp to make it 1-0 to score the 600th goal in Portland Timbers history and score the only goal of the match. It's 1-0. Beautiful goal by Mosquera. Perfect for being 600 in Timbers history. It wasn't no tap-in. No, it was a beautiful goal. Could be goal of the week, honestly. And that's how we'll, well, how it ended the half, 1-0. And then that game ended at 1-0. One goal, that's all there was. Even though there were chances up and down the pitch for both both teams, they were on the doorstep, but there were some good saves from Bingham. There were some good saves from Pulscamp. On both sides of the pitch, there were some good clearances from the defense. Mosquera had a great first half, let me tell you. Especially a great first half. Lots and lots of clearances as well, plus the goal. Honestly, We'll get there. With that being said, 1-0 at the end of the match. Full-time stats, 7 shots to 12, 4 shots on goal to 4, 43% possession to 57% possession, 389 passes to 494 passes, 75% pass accuracy to 85% pass accuracy, 12 fouls to 9, 1 offside to 0, 3 yellow cards to 1, 0 red cards to 0, 3 corners to 11. And there you go. The Timbers win at Providence Park to start the season. The game was postponed. Did not play Saturday night, but we got some Monday night football out of it. It wasn't the most beautiful. It was, wasn't even really that good of a match, but it was a chess match, pretty much. It was a tight game, a very well-played game. Not Okay, not a well-played game. That's a lie. It was pretty sloppy, but a good game plan from the the Timbers. A good game plan from the Timbers. They did not slap SKC. It looked like they were early because they had, there was a bad giveaway by SKC. They almost Austin themselves and would have been just as bad of a howler, but a good save by Pulse Camp. Pushes it past the second shot goes past the post. They get away with that one. A couple of minutes later, Mosquera scored and then it started to look like Portland would really put it on them. They could have won 11-0 had they played like it was the first 15 minutes the whole game. But sadly, around late in the first half, SKC started to play their game. And Portland started to coast. They played enough defense, but they didn't... They still pressed well at times, but they still felt like they were coasting. If they were in their end, they stepped back and said, Hey, try to take a shot. We'll block it so on and so forth. That's kind of the way they played. They coasted. They put themselves in a position as to where maybe they made SKC look more dangerous. Maybe they did. But to me, the football that was played by Portland Timbers, I think they got a bit too lackadaisical in the first half after around the 20th minute and then throughout the second half. I think they were a bit too lackadaisical. Yes, they had some good presses that almost caused some mistakes at the front in Kansas City's defensive end, which could have led to their goals. I do think Kansas City were better offensively throughout the game after the first goal. I think they should have scored a goal. I'm surprised they didn't score an equalizer because they were knocking on the door for the last 75 minutes, last 60 minutes of that game. They should have scored a goal. No joke. I think Kansas City should have scored. But they did not. But they did not. And that's why it was 1-0 Portland. Because Portland defensively did enough. There were enough good clearances in the 18-yard box. Good saves by Bingham. Luckily, that didn't let him down. The fact that Ivacic could not start. He was on the bench. They were being a bit cautious with him. 
with his preseason injury, preseason knock. They were being cautious. They bring in their backup, David Bingham, who is a very good goalkeeper. I don't think he's a starter in this league or a regular starter, but he could be a spot starter, be a good backup, and he did his job. And I think Portland backed him up as well. Of course, they traded Bill to Aloma, so their defense is a little bit more questionable right now. Zuperic played well. Rasmussen played well. Mosquera played well. That back line, I thought, played pretty well. Diego Chara stepping back still has a great motor. I don't know why Michael Bradley can't be the same way, but that's not the point, neither here nor there. But Diego Chara still has a great motor, got back a lot in the game. Evander did some work as well. I thought Portland played... They, they had some sloppy moments. They did not lend themselves to looking good, but again, they don't care. They got the three points. I thought, personally, they were a bit sloppy, but hey, if that's the way you want to look and you made them play into your trap, more power to you. You got the three points. I can't really say they were they were bad, they were sloppy. I can't do that. I think Portland did enough. Kansas City, I think, got a bit unlucky, but they didn't get slapped. Kansas City should be better this year. I think we all knew that, but no Johnny Russell, no Polito, no Tim Melia, and Agata played okay. Eric Tommy, not as good as he was last year. I think he had a bad game, so to speak. But Shallowy did some work. I thought, personally, Kansas City does look better this year. I think this first game, yeah, it sucks you lost. You could have easily got a point out of this. I don't know if, well, hell, possibly could have easily won, too, frankly. But does it hurt? Yes. Does it, but is it a good sign going into the next 33 weeks of the season? Yes, definitely. Because I think Kansas City are better this year. I think they are. I think last year was an injury-riddled season, and a lot of Peter Vermees doing what he does and not rotating players and lending themselves to just keep on grinding themselves down. And then Agata came in and Tommy came in and things did get better. Things got better. They rose up the table, not enough to get to the playoffs, but they did get out of the bottom of the West, or at least the rock bottom. They peeked their head out of the basement. So I think we all thought this year would go a bit better for Kansas City. So far, it looks like it has, even though they didn't get any points. I think they could go home with their heads held high. This is not the time they expected to play the match. They played the match. I thought they looked pretty good. Sometimes it doesn't go your way. But I think they could keep their heads held high once a lot more of their players come through. Polito comes back fully playing with Agata and Tommy. You have Johnny Russell. I think things will get better. Ben Sweat probably is a problem. But, you know, sometimes you can't have a perfect team in this league. But with that being said, defensively, they need Ford back as well. So hopefully when that happens, that helps them as well. But Portland, they did what they had to do, frankly. And is it the most beautiful game? No. Was it the most beautiful win? No, but you still got three points. So in the end, it's pretty good. All's well that ends well. You got the three points. You got the win. You have three points to start the season. You didn't jump Seattle. You couldn't score five goals, but on points you're tied. So no banter, I guess. I guess. Could be. I have no idea. But Portland... They did enough. They did their job. It was a down and dirty fight on a Monday night. They were ready. The fans were ready for some football. Portland, for the first six minutes, were ready for some football. I don't know if they were for the rest of the game, but they did exactly what they needed to do. Gio Savarese played it out well. The team played it out well. And they started off with three points, and they looked better than they did last year as well. So all's well that ends well. Man of the match for me is Juan Mascara. As I said, the goal, lots of clearances in that first half. He was working overtime. I think that gets you man of the match. Great performance from Mascara. Big three points because of him. Defensively and offensively at both ends. Scoring the 600 goal in Timbers history. I think it's got to be Mascara. 
So yeah, man of the match for me is Mascara. Well, that being said, had to do this one quickly because by the time this is out, it's going to be 12.30 my time at the very latest and 10.30 Portland time. So better for them, but Kansas City though, same time slot. So this may not do so well, but eh, whatever. With that being said, like the video, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, once subscribe, send super chats in the live streams, comment on this video, put us a plus, share with friends and family, all that great stuff. I shall see my dynasty stars tomorrow for the month ahead for March 2023. If my TFC kit comes in, I'll see you tomorrow for the unboxing of that as well. The whole audience is general in general, but there will be a members only video tomorrow for sure. Don't know when my jersey's coming in. Would be nice to see it come in this week, or at least by the home opener. I think that's very possible, but we'll see. But at least a quick video for the members tomorrow. Other than that, I'm not sure. So with that being said, I'm Ryan and I'm out. Peace. See you later.